So the next stage in construction is to apply the Peter Pan collar. So you have a pattern piece that says cut four. Um, so I've cut four of the um, of just a plain fabric. So I'm going to have a contrast fabric for this. So I've got four pieces of that, and I've just put little snips where the notches are um, around the neckline. I've also cut two pieces of interfacing. I'm going to interface two of the collar pieces just because my fabric is very thin. You can uh, just leave the interfacing out if you want to, um, depending on the weight of your fabric or how heavy you want the collar to be. I'm going to apply the interfacing to two pieces of the Peter Pan collar. You'll see that the interfacing sits uh, is slightly smaller than the actual collar piece, so it sits within it, and that's just going to reduce a bit of the bulk around the seam allowances and also it's going to protect my ironing board from the interface sticking to it. Sometimes I might use greaseproof paper underneath my pieces before I interface just in case um, anything's overlapping and I'm going to cover them with just some uh, cotton fabric before I apply it. So I've got my iron turned down to a medium heat and um, I'm just going to hold the iron in place, count to about five and then move it on and I'm going to do that until all the uh, interfacing is, is uh, fused. So now my interfacing is fused, what I'm going to do is place my pieces right sides together. Um, so I've got my two interfaced pieces here and my two non-interfaced pieces here. So I'll put those right sides together So each side of the collar will have one piece with interfacing on it and one piece without. And then I'm going to pin these around this edge and that's the edge I'm going to stitch. So I need to stitch uh, down the centre back and around the outer edge right back to here. So the neck edge I will leave uh, unstitched. So I've got my Peter Pan collar, two pieces right sides together. This is the bit that's got the interfacing on and I've just marked the seam line around the curve. I want to try and make sure that both sides of the collar are going to match. So I've marked the seam allowance on both when I stitch. So I'm going to stitch along the seam allowance around the edge of the collar as I've marked it there following the 15 line. So this is a standard seam allowance of a centimetre and a half. And you want to make the stitches smaller as you go around the, the curves. As I get to the centre back, I'm going to stop there, leave the needle in the fabric, lift up the foot and pivot and, uh, and then stitch up the back there. So I just need to go a tiny little bit further. So I'm going to just make my stitch a little bit smaller, make one more stitch, leave the needle in the fabric and then pivot at that point. So I'm exactly on the 15 line. And then I'm just going to turn my stitch back up and then stitch up the end. And I'm going to do exactly the same on the second piece. So I've stitched both of the collar pieces all the way around the uh, long edge and then up the back and then this edge is, is still open. And what I need to do next is to snip some of the seam allowance away. So I'm going to trim off about probably about three quarters of it. Because I've got quite a thin fabric, if I leave too much, it's going to show on the inside. Plus, I don't really want the bulk of it around the curve. So I've cut a fair bit of that away and then cut up the back there. And then where I've got the curves, I'm just going to put, I'm going to use my smaller scissors and I'm going to put some little clips into the curves.
I'm going to do that all the way around and on the second piece. So now I've trimmed and I've clipped the edge around the curves. What I need to do is to turn this inside out and then give it a really good press. So I'm going to, so I'm going to put the iron in there and just press the seam allowance over to one side. If you use both hands then you can pull the seam allowance over and make sure it's flat. I need to then press this flat all the way around making sure that the the seam sits right on that edge there. I don't want to have any um, folds or anything so you want to sort of rub it in your fingers and then press it all the way around. When I turn the square end of the collar what I'm going to do is, is sort of fold it as I do that so it gives a bit of um, point so I'm going to just fold that end in and then fold that end in so I'm kind of creating a bit of a corner there and then turn that to, to the inside and it should give me a better corner if I just give that a bit of a poke there so I get a nice square edge. So both pieces of my collar have been turned right way around, pressed flat so that the edge of the seam uh, is right on that edge there and I'm now ready to apply that to my neckline. So I'm going to put the Peter Pan collar around the neckline. Before I start though, I have got certain notches around the neckline edge, but I want to mark the centre front so that I can match the uh, the edges, centre points of the collar. So I'll just fold this along in half and I'm just going to put a snip here and I know that that's the centre front. And then I can take my collar pieces, I can decide which way up I think they look the best. So, not much difference really, I'm going to go that way. Um, I've got a notch at the back, so I can match the notch there at the back. And put in a pin. And then I've got a notch here. A pin and then I've got my centre front marker there so that's worked out pretty well okay and then the rest of the neckline should match around here so on some collar patterns you might well have a marker that um, um, helps you to match up where the collar should fit to the shoulder seam but on mine I don't have those markings so I'm just going to put pins in make those raw edges neat. So I've, I've matched both pieces of the collar um, right sides together with the neckline and at the centre front there I've made sure that those two pieces just completely butt up to each other and will match at the front. So if you're finding that your notches don't match up perfectly start at the centre front, make sure the two points, the pieces of the collar meet at the centre front and then just distribute the rest of the collar around the neckline as best you can. Because if, if they overlap at the front, then it's going to look a bit um, a bit wrong. So start from the front and work your way around. The next thing I'm going to do is just to use a long machine stitch and sew this a centimetre from the edge. And then I'll apply the facing around the neckline um, afterwards using a centimetre and a half seam allowance. So, so I'm going to stitch this on with a centimetre seam allowance uh, using a long stitch. Okay, now that's stitched, I can just take all the pins out and check on the wrong side that it's not caught up anywhere, um, especially around the shoulder seams, um, make sure there's no uh, pleating anywhere. 